is currently 1.37 p.m. UK time, Thursday the 28th of September 2023. It's a legendary day because Shuriken Sounds, which is a subsidiary of Blockchain Sensei, a company that focuses focuses on positioning artists in Web3 and providing creative AI solutions and education amongst a plethora of other creative uh, services that utilize the blockchain and AI. Um, anyway, we're doing our third event called Metaphysical, and yet again, the Financial Navigator is unable to attend, so something's happening in the Matrix. But um, yeah, we're going to do a quick, uh, technically speaking, I'm going to try to give um, Mr. Alex Codlin, aka Financial Navigator, as much spotlight as possible, as I need to jump off this call in 20 minutes because of how the studio is being used. We're keeping it raw. I've, co I've come out of the shower. Yes, this is my shower head. Um, I... Missed a notification. I was supposed to record this with Alex about 20 minutes ago, but um, yeah, this is long overdue. Um, this is the legend, the man himself. Um, some say that he's got friends in high places, some say he's just a geezer who's crypto crazy. Financial navigator Alex Codlin, how are you, sir? I'm good, long thank you. Time community member of Blockchain Sensei and much valued. Um, um, how would I say much valuable? Like, I value I value your expertise, I, I, I like your second you. opinions and calls. Good, but yeah, I mean, I'm, to be honest, I'll just know. say I'm, I'm an average Joe, really. I'm nothing special, it's all self taught, I have no financial background. So, obviously, nothing here is financial advice because we're not financial advisors. Um, no, no, it's no. Just, oh. you got to do your let's, disclaimer. Let's do Let's do the disclaimer. Disclaimer, terms and conditions. All content is for education, information, entertainment purposes only and should not be considered as investment advice or a recommendation to buy, sell, hold any asset or place any trades. Please always do your own research. Our content is intended and should only be used for informational and or entertainment purposes use only. It is very important to do your own analysis before making any investments, which should be based on your own individual circumstances. I'm not a multi-billionaire like Financial Navigator. Look where he is. He's in one of <laughs> 87 luxurious mansions. Why else would we be in a, would we do in a collaboration with this crazy guy on the internet? <laughs> I wish, mate. I wish that was the case. You should always take independent professional advice from a professional advisor. Or independently research and verify all and any information you may find in this show or any show on the internet that you may wish to rely upon whether you wish to make an investment decision or otherwise. All investments come with risk. Please do your own research. Neither myself, nor Mr. Harding, nor Financial Navigator, nor anybody on the Blockchain Sensei team since our inception up until the 28th of uh, September 2023 have ever been and do not intend to be perceived or received as financial advisors and or professional accountants. However, we're working in collaboration with several accredited financial advisors and or crypto accountants. And finally, if you're unable to mitigate your risk, then please contact us immediately so we can refer you to an accredited financial advisor. There we go. The stage, sir, is yours. I have never actually seen... You do any TA, so I'm quite I am myself. by no means a TA specialist. I keep it very basic. Um, well, what's going on in the markets and your opinion, sir? Take it away, my friend. Take it away. Right, so I don't know for the people that follow my page, probably not many. I'm just going to cover basically what I've been talking about. Um, I've created a little technically speaking list here just to go over quickly. Um, I mentioned Sweatcoin on the 9th of august i think it was i put my post out uh, and as you can see since then it's had a considerable uh, move due to their launch in america i think it's about 43 percent move current um, oh, all right so that's something just to keep your eye on i mean by all means i think this is going to do very well next bull market this is a competitor so i don't know if you know Steppen, the one on the uh, solana chain yeah with the, with um, the nft trainers and that yeah, yeah. So they've just kind of released their own like sort of NFT trousers slash shoes. And you can compete with your friends for sweat. Um, they also give you free videos and that if you watch them daily, uh, you get free sweat and that. Um, there's only a certain amount of exchanges you can buy it on. But that is something 
just to watch. There's not much data there to look at, to be honest. Um, yeah, because it was only released in the public market in recent-ish times. Yeah, I mean, that's another thing why I think I'm, why I'm considerably bullish on it. It wasn't released during a bull market, it was released in the bear. Um, so it wasn't going to have that much attention brought to it. I mean, they already have a massive user base. Uh, I think over, I want to say it's over 130 million users worldwide already. Um, but wait, can you just can you just 100 check that? I need to I need to know that fact. Could you just find the amount of users this webcoin has? It's on, especially active users. Can you see my page still? Um, I'm, I I can only see trading view, but I, I just I really want that stat. All right, so if you go to their Twitter, because I always think of um, yeah, hundred and thirty million plus stats. users. Okay, so let's just compare that against the human population. One second. So can you see that on my screen? Uh, I I can see I can see the sweat economy. So we do. So that says 130 mil plus users in Web2. Um, it was the fastest chain to have more than 2 million wallets created on the near protocol as well. Yeah, that's a lot of users. That's over yeah. 1 in 80 people. Yeah. I mean, I think you've got it as well. I think I've mentioned this to you before. Yeah, I've not been active though. <laughs> Can't lie. Well, even if you get into steps and it's counting it in the background, isn't it? So it's something you can just set up and forget sort of thing. Hundred percent. Um. So All the right. other ones I've been looking well, at, well. I, mean, I did a post on recently was uh, V Chain, as well. Um, I mean, again, I like to compare it to the BTC chart. And yeah, same. See, since today, I took a uh, I took a near to BTC trade. I risked, yeah. I risked um one percent of my Bitcoin. It's in there. Nice. Today. Yeah. And then and then I have even got a one percent Bitcoin set aside in a buy order if it if 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 the near crashes further. Yeah. No fear. No yeah. fear. Um so that V chain again, Bitcoin, as you can see, I mean, over the last few weeks, this is the weekly chart since June has been higher lows, uh, higher highs, sorry. Um can, but... can can you just get me a percentage read from here to here? 35. And when when did this happen? Was that was that May? June 5th. Or yeah. the week of the June 5th. So if we go to the daily, that, that was a good month. Bitcoin long. June the 9th. June the 9th to be exact. That's wild. It's about 40%. Um, so these are because we were only Going through this reasonably quickly, I'm not going to go too deep into anything, but the ones I've been watching against BTC are the ones that are creating high lows because obviously they're the ones that are looking to... Are you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you a fan of swapping your Bitcoin into alts and then back into Bitcoin? Not really. I mean, by all means, I think it's worth get doing. It, diversify. Well, by all means, I think it's worth doing, but I mean, like from my perspective, because I've got constant cash flow, I don't see the point in me Sorry. risking BTC. Sorry, we're all <laughs> billionaires. You got a constant <laughs> cash flow. It's all I just don't, I just, in, I just don't no think it's worth me risking no it. Dry period. Now tell them, uh, tell them, tell them what you do for a day job because you're quite public about it. I'm an electrical engineer. I'm an electrical engineer, so it's nothing, nothing uh, related to finance at all. Um, just, as of recently, I've been doing a lot of like my little private jobs. Um, so getting them into at the weekends, basically eighty percent of that money uh, for me is straight into the market. It doesn't. You put eighty percent of your salary into the market. Yeah, from the right. side jobs. Round of applause, even, please. Even, Round of even, applause, please. I mean, even from my salary, because my outgoings are very little. I'm still lucky enough to be living at home with my parents. I mean, sixty percent of my working salary is also going straight into the market. So it's nothing that just gets laid around for a while. It's just in so another one was xrp against btc as you can see from march the 18th has again had higher lows so i mean a lot of people slay xrp you've also got a lot of people that are xrp only 
Um, but technically, it's showing higher lows, so it's showing strength against BTC, and I think it's probably primed to perform well into the next ball. Um, I mean, Algorand, I'm quite bullish on, but as you can see, it's been getting absolutely slaughtered uh, against BTC. It's constant lower lows. Um, but, I mean, I'm picking it up here just because the risks are aboard. I think it's there. Yeah, one sec. Yo. Hey, how you doing? I'm good, thank you. Yourself? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Great stuff. Me and Ninja were actually looking at Algorand just last night. Yeah. Yeah, it looked like it was in a good position. I did an Algorand big time. Sorry, say that again? No, we, we were just echoing what you just said, that it was looking like it was in quite a good position. But, of course, this isn't financial advice. No. <laughs> what would we know? <laughs> Great stuff. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, mate. Um, so, Algorand, one, I've done a deep dive on my page as well. Um, By I the way, that's, that's, pretty... um, that's, that's Jeremiah Johnson, who is the head of AI and chief technical officer of Shuriken Sounds and oh. technical analysis enthusiast. Very nice. We've already done one. Love that. So, I mean, I think, if, I mean, if you watch the game as well, as probably most of your followers do, um, they, Michael was talking about Uni uh, Unity last week. Algorand have actually got a partnership with Unity um, to do with some of their gaming stuff, which I didn't know, actually know until watching the game, which Michael brought up. Um, then Joe, I think, is another one, which is on the Avalanche blockchain. Um, again, what the hell is Joe? I don't know anything about this. It's, an, autom it's, a, it's an automated market maker uh, on the Avalanche. Don't, it sold, make me it sold big... don't make me FOMO 1% Bitcoin into this. I've got a document I can send you on Joe. Can you can you break down the fundamentals or, or, or share with you're comfortable with? I can't, I can't off the top of my head because it's all in a document and I'm not sure I can put the document out there on the internet. But uh, I can send you the document after the uh, call and you can have a look over it. See what you think. It also covers a lot of other tokens, but I think Joe's the one that I've been following the most and think has the most uh, upside for next bull run. Um, another one a lot of people have been slating is Sol. Solana, yeah. Yeah. Again, since, well, December 2022 has had higher lows. A higher highs, Listen, sorry. Um, I got quite a lot of Solana for $7. Swapping it out. And then I, I did a 3x on it in the bear market. Love that. That's yeah. what you want. So again, I mean, the basics here for me when I'm looking at altcoins to be stacking is ones that are showing strength again, BTC. Uh, yes. For the run, but what? All coins that show strength against Bitcoin. They're the ones I, I personally are looking at to keep adding to. I mean, mm -hmm. even like to go to the extent of Algorand of not showing any strength, the fundamentals are still there. So if one isn't showing it on the charts wise, it's good to look into it to see if it's actually showing mm -hmm. uh, in the background. The team is still building, signing partnerships. I mean, another one I think a lot of people don't talk about enough is HBAR as well. I mean, I from the low... I mean, my Twitter, my Twitter has just been filled with Link the last week. I mean, from the lows, it's up 21% against BTC. Um, nice. So again, that's another one I'll be looking to get into. Um, and then the Link chart, so everyone keeps looking at it. I mean, you kind of got an inverse head and shoulders there going on the daily. Where's the fucking brush? I'm eating some amazing chicken and chips right now, I can't lie. No, it's all right. Do you know what I love? Damn I love that. eating chicken and chips, but where the chips are like fish and chip chips. Do you know what I mean? The fish and chip chips. Yeah. Not, 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 not the fries. It's I like, don't know. I don't eat chips. Do you not? No. Do you eat potatoes? Yeah, I don't eat any potatoes. Are you English? Yeah. How, I won't how go into why because it's it's a, it's a long story. No. I was going to relate it to crypto. No, nah, not related to crypto. 
I mean, to be fair, if you look at this link chart, this head and shoulders against BTC is showing signs. I'd probably look for some sort of volume as well as like a weekly close above. Jesus. I think if you go into the, we'll have a look at the, uh, against the dollar as well. I think it broke its what a sniper. Uh, downtrend at the minute. As you can see here, I mean, if we have this weekly close here, that's showing quite strong signs of strength, also closing above the 50-day EMA uh, at current price. I mean, personally, I'd be waiting for a, a weekly candle rather than a, a daily above the 8443 level before I then say maybe we're off to the races. I mean, other than that, they're the ones I'm really focusing on at the minute. So when you jump on the charts, what's the first thing you look at? BTC, the dominance, and also USTD dominance. So you're a proper crypto boy, yeah? Believe it or not, the first 10 things I look at is not crypto. DXY. I look at SIXRE. That's the first chart I look at. Add that, add that, that to your watch list. Because this is the first chart that I look at before anything. What's this is called? like... For for lack for lack of better words, real estate holdings in the S and P five hundred, and it's a no, um, it's going all all yeah, S I X R E. I'm a macro sniper. Check this right. Look, 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 look what's just happened. It's just it's just bled to the October two thousand and twenty two low. Yeah, rebound. Right. So what does this include? Just real estate? Is this US base or global? Uh, real estate, like real estate holdings in the S&P 500. Oh, For lack right, of a better okay. word, something along those lines. But the second chart I look at is the VT. VT? No. This no, top no, one v, here. Vanguard. Vanguard. V for Vanguard. Oh, VT. Yeah. Yeah. So... This is a mad secret, right? Whatever the price of the VT is, is approximately the trillion dollars that are in the stock market. Historically, the price of the VT and, and the historical um, global global um, stock valuation pretty much matches up almost one for one. Yeah. I mean, so, the other ones I like to look at are in the commodities. I mean, I always flip through energy at the minute. Because they're the, my best trades at the moment, oil and that gas. I think it's interesting for them. I don't touch anything outside of tech stock. I don't, no. to understand. I don't think you could ignore energy in this space at the minute. I think I've I've been in energy since about eighty five. I think it is my entry point. Yeah. So that's still going chugging along nice. I still think that gas. I mean, this is. I mean, that gas is very difficult to trade and. All the, all the people I listen to, specialist wise, are like, I oh, can't touch it. It's no point. But I still think if we get a cold snap this winter in Europe, we're going to see something very similar to what happened last year. Wow. I think we could e easily be going back up to the $6 mark. Um, are, you, are you day trading or are, are you literally just? Oh no! So, see, that's the thing. Like, I'm not a day trader. I'm like, well, I don't know how what you would class it. I would class it as short term trade. I'll, I'll play like a month to six months sort of thing. So you're you're like me. You're you're like a spot swinger. Yeah, kind of. I mean, I, I dabble with a little bit of day trading on like a buy bit account, but other than that, within crypto, literally nothing else. Um, it's more like uh, positions of a month to six months sort of thing. I think over the next you're six months, especially market. going into the winter, you're looking at that gas hitting some decent levels again. Do you ever short, do you ever short the market? I want to get into shorting, mate. Uh, I kind of short the market, although I have been talking to some uh, people in my network, but I'm kind of debating not bothering shorting anymore and just being on the buy side. It's a lot less stress. It is a lot less stress. It's, they haven't got to worry about much. I mean, the other great one I was looking at commodities-wise 
is sugar at the minute. Potentially a double top in. So if you're looking to short, wait for a close above that, below that level there. And probably in the money for a bit. Uh, what was the other one? Sugar. What a crazy guy. Thinks he's got short oh, sugar. Do you want to see? Um, I didn't even think about that. Oh, that was it. DBA. Sorry, let me go back to DB, uh, DBA quick. So there was a Instagram page on called Finance Fergie. I don't think he's got access to his account now. He lost it. He's got like sixty k followers. Oh no. Yeah, not good. But on there, he did like a stock picking thing. So everyone was picking stocks. I can't remember when this was. I want to say it was probably around July last year. Maybe even April this year. Um, but I didn't see anyone in the comments putting DBA, agricultural ETF. Everyone at the time was going the video or like meta, just going with the tech stocks. Mm -hmm. And I think this on a bigger scale, I mean, I, I don't know whether you can cast that as a cup and handle. I would like to. But yeah, I would to like to as well. I would like to as huh? well. I would like to as well. That, that's what I immediately saw. Yeah, I mean, like, personally, I'd like to see, I'd like to see a lot of volume of a weekly close above this, but we haven't seen any volume yet. I mean, look, look, we've, the volume is been pants compared to this coming up here. So if we can get a weekly close with some decent volume, then I'll, I think people's food prices and that are going to be shooting up again, and no one's going to be liking that. No one likes that, mate. Um, the other ones I was looking at. So I know Michael's mentioned Roblox couple of times yeah yep. I mean, look I mean, where that is nine percent yeah it's gone days. it's done nine percent in the past seven days and my yeah. boy my boy got my boy got in at the absolute bottom Snipe. yeah down in 25 yep, 20, yeah going at 25 43 25 yeah. 43 nice i mean the other ones i've been i keep keep looking at is obviously since the game has been gone on is uh john deere and then unity as well I mean, Unity's below, I think, where Michael knows, was saying he got he in. Knows, he knows, he oh, knows. Oh, so. right. We're going to have to wrap this up, unfortunately, because um, someone else has got, this, uh, has, has got this studio space. But yeah, guys, this is Alex Codlin's first ever appearance on uh, Blockchain Sensei, Technically Speaking, a weekly show dedicated to charts only. Back next week. See you later, guys. Care.